Hello, I'm Hyper G, and I'm here with Lucky Sixes. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, so we're now on to the model rules section, and we need to start off by saying that we're going to be quite ruthless with our timings wise because if it hasn't changed, we're literally just going to say it hasn't changed and then moved on. Is that right? Yeah, because otherwise we'd be here for a long time. Yes, we would. Yeah, okay, so. so um, one thing I will mention as well is that I am not a massive fan of the way this is laid out. I'm sure it's been done for the right reasons, so I'm not criticising as such. But I liked it when it was all alphabet alphabetical in total, rather than split into universal rules, characters, yeah, etc. This is this is tough to navigate. Yeah, around. it's like if you don't know which section your rule is in, you could end up scrolling through all of them and then going back to the first one because you've missed it. Or yeah. absolutely, especially because now that it's new released as well mm -hmm. like this, it's it's, it's tough to. Just to work out where everything is. Yeah, whereas if they were all in alphabetical, you'd just go with the alphabet. Yeah. But anyway, that's just a minor thing, really, because we'll get better at it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, duplicate model rules, I think that's the same as it always was, so I'm not really going to mm -hmm. worry about that. So, in the spirit of being ruthless, shall we start with ambush? Yeah, all the universal rules. Are the yeah. Um, so, yeah. Ambush hasn't changed, so we're literally going to move straight on. Yeah. Roll <laughs> three plus on several things. In turn two, or yeah. turn one if you're Beast Man. Yeah. Beast Hearth, rather. Good start. I love it. Uh, BSB is the same, Battles on a Bearer, um, just that they've made it its own special rule yeah. as well. And a lot of it is just wording changes. Yeah, I think. Uh, a lot of blue is, is wording changes, yeah. like it always is. Bodyguard is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. uh, Channel is the first one we're going to mention. Yep. Uh, so that's all changed because of the veil token thing being yeah. a, being a thing. The whole magic phase has changed in channels. One of them. So with yeah. this one, you'll get a channel and a number, normally mm -hmm. between one and three. Yeah. Um, and that's how many veil tokens mm. you get. If you get multiple, because you'll be able to get multiple channel. So for example, it's there's, yep. there's an item which we'll go on to later, which is, mm -hmm. gives you channel one. But if you're a uh, a, ma a mage in already, yeah. you get channel one, and then this one, channel one, yeah. which totals channel two. two. Yeah, and so two bell tokens instead of one. Yeah, so all, just count all your channels. Yeah, and you don't even have to roll a dice. If you've got channel one, you automatically get one bell token without having to roll anything. Yeah. Cool. Nice one. It's good. Yeah. So that's, that's that. Um, chariot wasn't previously a special rule, but now it is because... Yeah, the troop classifications all changed. All the sizes but stuff, yeah. pretty much a chariot is exactly the same as it always was. Yep. So. Um, commanding presence is the same. That's just your general's thing. Passing on his discipline. Yeah. Uh, and that was all clarified elsewhere. Engineer is the same, except obviously you get an X value. But that's the same the with a lot of the special rules. Yeah, and that's just to clarify it with the aim. With the aim, how it interacts with aim. Yeah. But it's it's essentially the same as it was, and they're yep. as useful as they always were. Um, fear is the same as it was, pretty much the same. Only that if you fail, you you become shaken. So yeah, if you shaken, fail fear tests, yeah. you become yeah. shaken, which is obviously the minus one to hit and the plus one to hit. So you get minus one. You to get hit. minus one to hit. Your opponent gets plus one. So it's a double swing. Yeah. Um, so rather than you going to the old weapon, weapon skill, skill one, which you get. was essentially the same thing. Yeah. Your chances are you were going to have yeah, that effect. It, but it'll probably, in most cases, it'll probably give you the exact same thing as going down to web school. But one. you don't have to work it out. But, yeah, it's an easy, easy fix. Easy work out, and yeah. you're minus one discipline throughout, mm. which is um, one for free as well. So, that's cool. yeah, something to remember. Like that. Um, fearless is the new immune to psychology. Mm -hmm. but is that exactly the same? Uh, Faint flight is exactly the same uh, for your light troops. Yeah. Uh, fly got the Y value added, um, but that's just because advance rate and march rate got it's separated out. Up, so yeah. essentially, it's the same thing, isn't it? And then one of the big changes to with 2.0 is the frenzy. frenzy. So we do need to kind of talk about that a bit. Um, I mean, I'm not going to read it out because <laughs> it's there. No, well, it's but... yes. <laughs> There's a lot to it. Basically, you don't get the plus one attack anymore. Mm. No standards for the frenzy. Um, you can't get as easily frenzy baited, mm -hmm. so you can't. So you have to be within, as it says, um, the advance rate to plus, plus seven. So you can't. So you have to be a bit closer. And sevens an average roll. Yes. So normally things that have frenzy want to be in combat. Yeah. And it's basically saying mm -hmm. if you're within an average roll, yeah, you have to test to not 
go for it. Yep, so you can't stick a model 12 inches away from a frenzied model and frenzy bait it. Yeah. You've got to actually risk being charged mm. by an average roll. But that's fair enough because something's got mm-hmm. close to you. Um, yeah. I, I don't... It, this, I think they, they split it up to make it a bit weirder, mm. in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But, um, and it, it links with the battle focus rule, which we're going to talk about later. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, and that is pretty much replacing the plus one attack mm. part. But what, what this is saying, the discipline and stuff, is saying that uh, break tests are normal. Um, if you take any uh, panic decimated or fear tests, yeah, you get plus two instead of the immune psychology, what you used to get. Yeah. So it's you're unlikely to fail them, but you still can. Yeah. Um, and any other disciplines, you're at minus two. Yeah. So you, they're basically they're saying they want you to, the units that are frenzied are more likely to get themselves in combat and more likely to stay in combat. That's it. Because they just want to fight. They're crazy. And a bit unruly. Yeah. So so the other discipline tests are things like overrun mm-hmm. and pursue yeah. and stuff like that. And so being forced to charge. Again, un- unlikely that you'll be able to restrain, mm-hmm. but it can happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah so, and the minus two discipline is um, if they um, are, f- overrun, are you see. frenzy-baited, yeah. they're minus two discipline to stop themselves charging. Absolutely. But only if they're within a seven inch charge, they might want to actually charge that so, anyway. It's a change, but yeah, the biggest one I think is that you don't automatically get plus one attack. Yeah. Yeah. Which, and and you well, can't lose it. You can't lose frenzy anymore. No. So once you've got which it, you've is, got it. Which is nicer. Yeah. I think it, it makes it easy to remember. Yeah. It? I think so. Cool. Uh, front rank is the same as it was. I yeah. mean, it's, there's a lot of clarification. It's a big old rule, but it, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Anything with that, basically. Oh, a diagram. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anything with that just means it, 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 it sounds silly. It has to go in the front rank. Mm, oh. Front rank rule. Yeah, I should have thought. Mm, no, no, I was really confused. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they've made it that, and there'll be another rank uh, one later. So yeah, stand behind. Which yeah. work together, so just yeah. be aware. And I think we, we mentioned that when we were talking about command as well. Yeah. So, so you just be aware of what like what command and characters mm-hmm. have the, what yeah um ghost step is uh, the old uh, old ethereal, ethereal movement. movement they've just added it in as a separate thing yeah. because it's movement for movement purposes only yeah but it's essentially what it always was mm-hmm. insignificant is exactly the same and i need to get better at that because i'm not very good at it you are insignificant well, thanks that's nice. That's okay. I'm into. Oh man, what's my? I don't care if you. What flee. is my purpose? <laughs> you flee right now. Bat an eyelid. All right, but do you know where the house keys are? I have no idea. You locked it. Oh, <laughs> anyway, right. Um, light troops is exactly the same. <laughs> um, yep. Yep. Really good. If fingers have light troops, just so easy to so mobile. Mobile. Totally maneuver. Yeah. So. Very Definitely. good. Like, uh, it has no ranks though, so uh, yeah, that is your chances. consequence. But chances are, a unit with light troops isn't going to have many ranks yeah, anyway. Yeah. Probably don't want to combat either. No, probably not, unless you're redirecting. But yeah, that's what they're there for. Uh, magic resistance has changed. I think yeah. that's on our list. Yeah, so big more changes. Um, instead of being, you get a ward or what would be Aegis mm-hmm. against the uh, damaging spells. It now adds on a X modifier to the casting value of the spell against you. Yeah, they've had a few. Mm. Every every iteration or uh, thing has a different magic resistance, doesn't it? I think yeah. a lot mm-hmm. of the trouble with the ward save is it doesn't do anything against against hex. And, and yeah, stuff. exactly. So this one now list affects every yeah. kind of magic spell. So I think it's subtle, but I think it is. I think it's good. improvement. I yeah. think it's a real improvement. Yeah, definitely. Because um, magic resistance is worth taking if you want to protect a unit. And in this in this edition, so to speak, is there's not much in the way of defensive no, magic. No, there isn't. Um, help. Mm. So every it really does, mm. especially if a unit's already got it. And because what what we're finding now is that you don't normally do that like, do spells with more than two or three dice. No, you unless don't need you to. drastically want it. Yeah. But obviously, this makes you th- think about whether you don't actually need that extra dice. Mm. If you've mm. got magic resistance two, say, yeah. which would be very good. It might be enough to make the cast to use an extra yeah. dice. And yeah. magic resistance three is an auto. If you get three, oh, definitely. I think there's some perhaps. I want to say corn, think, but I don't think it's it wrath. Yeah, yeah, wrath. Yeah, wrath. Now, oh, it might not even be wrath anymore because of um, the no, new warriors. But, but I think but so. Some things like that. Yeah, 
Since. Yeah, like the corn dogs as they I used to I be. I think now. there's um I think there's beastmen get that and okay. their totems. Yeah, that probably could be. Spells, but yeah, so mm. it's a subtle I think it's a subtle change and I think it's a really good one. I think it yeah. matters for all. I think it's so. it's really good. Yep. Um massive bulk is uh, gigantic models and that's basically if you've got a character riding a big nasty, he doesn't get to use his own yeah. armour. So his so, shield doesn't protect his big dragon. No. Oh, what, what a shame. Hell? Unbelievable. He's really good at catching cannibals with the that's shield, good. but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Still takes off the mm. dragon's wing. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> OP. <laughs> uh, not a leader is the same as it was. And then yeah. we've got another change we want to talk about, which is Pathmaster. Yeah. And we're combining this with Protean Magic. Yeah, I think. They're pretty much similar rules of magic. They're just different things to allow... You even more scope and changing um, the variety of what you can pick spells wise. Yeah. So Pathmaster obviously is, is you get to change it or any of the spells. Yeah. So very very nice. Yeah. So overrides if you you're usually not allowed to take one and four together or yeah. one and six. You now are because you're a Pathmaster. So some of the restrictions and then yeah. Protein Magic. I, I think there's there was two or three models that had it had this. Rule. Yeah, but it was like uh, included in their own special rules, yeah. or their own version, and now done. It's just grouped them all together into a rule book rule. Yeah. Which and is fine. what you'll probably see because of that is that there are a few more models that get the option. For yeah, it. I think so. Yeah, um, we know of at least two models that have it, and yeah. there's probably far more. Um, we haven't had many battles, so <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, so it's, it's all good. I like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice little thing. Clears it up and makes it simple. It does, and it saves them up from having to type out in every army book yeah. as well, which is always a bonus. Uh, running around the flag is exactly the same as it was. That should be a speed reroll, yeah. basically. Uh, random movement, exactly the same. Yeah, a lot um, of the blue is just rewording, as we yeah, said. So. Yeah, so it's fine. And because they've separated our march rate and advance rate as yeah. well. And yeah, that would be a big one. And, uh, yeah, Random Movement X has always been the same because mm -hmm. there's different values of Random Movement. Yeah. Um, scoring is the same as it always was. Um, I think so, yeah. I mean, obviously, we only play 1.1, .1, but we know that it's the same as it was in 1.3, yeah. so we don't want to go into that. Um, yeah. Um, Scout is the same. I think, yeah, it's yeah. exactly the same. Even, yeah. Skirmish is the next one on the list, isn't it? That has Absolutely. changed. Um, a whole load of diagrams coming up again. Uh, do you want to talk about Skirmisher? Because you were a little better at that. Uh, yeah, so essentially the main changes are you get 360 line of sight. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, skirmisher on the shooting isn't a minus one to hit because you're Skirmisher, but effectively it is because a lot of Skirmishers now have hard target. Mm -hmm. And anybody that had Skirmisher and hard target before gets two instances of hard, which we'll come on to. Yeah, but, millions. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's one you get so 360 line of sight for shooting and you pr you have a, about 180 degrees for charging so it's, it's an odd one it's quite quite cool actually so n instead of having a front arc mm -hmm. you because you're 360 line of sight technically you could charge everything in mm -hmm. any direction but you only have a 90 degree uh, wheel mm -hmm. um, option so it's really hard to show it yeah, yeah, I'm doing so many hand signals. I mean, it, you're basically saying anything um, above this line. This, this mouse, line here. This mouse yeah. movement is chargeable. Exactly. Um, you're facing that way. So, so that's cool. It gives skirmishers a lot more. Mm. You, you tend to have only like... Um, skirmishers will probably be really good glass cannons if they are combat things. But, yeah, I mean, you, um, mm. warriors have got skirmishing. Yeah, Skaven do, mm -hmm. high elf, lion guard, like... There's, yeah. a, there's a few things that yeah. will benefit from it. But you're probably looking at quite small units yeah. because they don't get a rank bonus. So, But that's quite a cool little mm. change and gives them a bit more threat, I think. Yeah, and well. you don't bunch up in combat anymore. You don't bunch up in combat. So this, um, like this beautiful diagram shows yeah. you maintain your spacing. Absolutely. Um, mm. Another one for skirmishes I is... I think that benefits skirmishes because... Does it, actually? Yeah, probably not. No, you're getting less models into it. Um, one of the other changes is that um, skirmishers don't block line of sight. Okay, yeah. Um, they might give cover, I think, but they don't block it. Because mm -hmm. um, you can see through them because they're so far apart. Yeah. yeah, so if you have 
small, 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 but the one that's small in the middle is a skirmisher. Mm-hmm. I think it would just be cover right. rather than line of sight. Oh yeah, look, never block line of sight. There you go. Oh, All right, there. As if, as if I'd read it before. Yeah. Um, but yeah, skirmishes have been they've been neatened up. I think, I think and so, yeah. the fact that they're like that as well is just for base um, trays, movement trays. Isn't it? Yeah, so, so they never to, have to bunch up. Bunch them up and, and take them off and That's take them good, on. Yeah. Take them off. So it's just There's some really cool easy. movement trays out there for skirmishers, and it was a real pain having so, to bunch them up. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah. Cool. Um, stand behind, we kind of mentioned earlier, and that's um, fine. Mm. Just, just means it doesn't exactly what it says. Rank. Yeah. So, and it is like you might have stand behind and front rank, mm-hmm. but the stand behind takes prison. Yeah. So you can put them in the front rank, but stand behind means you don't have to. Yes, correct. Essentially. Yeah. Um, okay. And Strider is the same as it always was. Yeah, they've taken out the cannot be prevented by marching. Yeah, marching because by um, water no longer stops you marching. So there's so, no point in having that yeah. on Strider, to clarify. But good. If you get Strider, it's very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stubborn is exactly the same and always very useful, but probably harder to get. But, um, yeah, there's a monster specifically. If yeah, I've lost it. out a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Um, Supernal is the new wording for the demon break test. Yeah. I think I think this gets the award for worst name. You reckon of a special rule? You don't like Super Supernal. Anal? Ooh, okay, yeah. I hadn't the thought of that until test, now. It? But mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it, I, I don't like the name. Okay. fair enough. Gripe. Yeah, yeah. They should have called it Gripe. They should have, <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, but yes. So supernal, despite yeah. having a terrible, terrible name, is exactly it's, what it used to be. Except yeah. it's, it's the demon break test, basically. So it's, but it, you will get some, say, monsters and things like that around. So there'll be other other models and units that then get supernal, supernal. like the Great Green Idol. And well. again, mm-hmm. it's another thing. Um, to just put everything together in the same block project yeah. magic for example to so make a rule book rule to cover yeah. multiple models instead of just having a massive section on it in the demons book yeah. for example yeah so it makes the rule book mm-hmm. a bit bigger but all the other other army books a bit Can easier use it. to yeah. read so awesome swift strides the same and awesome as usual uh yeah. tall has been added in yeah, um, for line of sight purposes. For line of sight purposes, because line of sight's been all clarified and all sorts. Yeah, so basically it just gives you, makes you one bigger than you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Terror is the same as it was. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, no go, sorry, go back to the tool. It it It's worth, like, really seriously noting so that you can, because you might want to block line of sight yes. everything. but it's essentially a way of them so obviously they've streamlined the sizes quite heavily because mm-hmm. there's only three yeah but it's a way of giving that bit of variety as well mm-hmm. so the tool is i quite like this is quite an ingenious plan yeah but it can catch you out if you're not aware of it yeah like the other day when i tried to shoot your cavalry and i couldn't because there were tall cavalry standing in front of them or mm. something like that. Anyway. yeah yeah but, but yeah because Cavalry and infantry are essentially the same size. Yeah, but, but cavalry, cavalry are tall. A tall infantry. Mm-hmm. Nice. Interesting. But yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, and towering presence links to tall. I've said yeah. the terror stayed the same. So towering presence is just and extending your yeah. rally around the flag and commanding yeah. presence. So. Decent. Mm-hmm. Unbreakable is the same as it always was. Yeah. And um, just instead of being immune to psychology, it's called fearless now, but it's the same. Mm hmm. Uh, undead and unstable. We were gonna just uh, talk yeah, about, we'll talk about them together. Um, Have we skipped war platform? No, that's after you, isn't it? <laughs> Good point. Alphabets. <laughs> Alph- yeah. Learning alphabets. There's me. PGG. There's me saying that uh, I like everything in alphabet <laughs> order. And I don't know that W comes after you. <laughs> Brilliant. Nice one, me. Anyway, okay. undead, unstable, and this goes in with supernal a little it bit. Does um, yes. Essentially, the unstable part does not the yeah. undead. Yeah. So. Un- so undead and unstable the, the biggest thing is the difference between them and normal units is if you fail a, oh sorry if you lose a combat mm-hmm. how much you've lost by is more important yes it is um so rather and with undead stuff mm-hmm. if you say you lose by 10 
mm-hmm. you will lose 10 wounds worth of things. Yeah. But with unstable, it's the same, but you take a break test to stop you taking any wounds. Yeah. Um, so unstable has changed slightly because... No, I think you've got yourself I've a bit got, confused. Got, yeah, there. No, Supernal is the oh, one where you get to take a break test. Right, so yeah, I would say, so all of this yeah. is you lose by how much. Yeah, you've... undead and unstable both are. You yeah. lose by how many you've lost. Supernal, if you have that additionally, yeah. you, you get to take a break, break test, test first. And if you take, pass yeah. your break test, you don't take any wounds okay. at all. yeah. Yeah, and um, the, one. the additional rules that this is all is like bonuses to reduce the damage that it causes you. Yeah. And so you can still get stubborn and steadfast. Which, which just stops your skeletons losing 30. Yeah. Totally, which is the lost. glory days. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, you can still have a steadfast unit of skeletons only losing yeah. 12. Because that was the <laughs> thing is that you, you couldn't nullify it at all by having mm. extra ranks. We're literally like just leaking wounds. But left, right, and they've added in these things to get, actually make it Making a difference, give you half a chance of surviving more than one. Yeah, and give around. you a bonus for having these things mm, as well. Mm. Yeah, but I mean that's pretty much talking about them both together. Yeah, month to month. But they're perfectly child clarified. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. H- hard to describe, but easy to understand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, but essentially, I don't think they've changed much. No, it's just that they're always worth talking about. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Cool. Uh, Vanguard is exactly the same as it was. Um, uh, just the, the advanced rate, march rate separation mm-hmm. thing, but it's the same as it was. Uh, yeah. Uh, War Machine is just every War Machine has the War Machine special rule just yeah. to signify it as a War Machine. Um, but it's pretty much the same yeah. as it was. Going back to something we said before, again, the thing to remember with War Machines in combat is that you have to maximize. As if mm-hmm. it's a square base. Yeah, that's right. And oh, going to something else. I, th- I believe there's a, a talk about square or circle bases on war machines at the minute. Oh, is there? They're talking about that. Mm. Um, I'll change a few. Probably not at the time this goes out. That will already been decided. And you might just be lying. We're all already <laughs> on the diamond bases by then. Um, but cuboid. A cuboid. Three <laughs> D bases. Yeah. Oh, is it three D already? Probably because it's. Yeah, it's not flat. It's real life, isn't it? Real life it's is all 3D. real. Are we 3D? I think we Are could we be. real? What is that? me. I'm insignificant. So. You do, yeah. Yeah. Right, War Platform. That's W after you. Yeah. Uh, it has um, got a lot of blue, but a lot of it is wording, but it is pretty much the same as it was, despite all the blue. Um, I think it's just, you know, you join a unit with a big unit and it, it, it has a modicum of protection and uh, probably gives you that unit a bit of a buff. Yeah, and yeah, the, the, you, I think a few more u- models have been given it mm. um, to get it into u- other units so, yeah. I don't know, like uh, for example the VC and the mm-hmm. um, cadaver wagon yep. is going into zombies. Example, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's quite cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we've mentioned these throughout the rule book, but the Wizard Apprentice, Wizard Adept, and Wizard Master are, uh, are new things. Mm. Um, some of them get Channel 1, as we've mentioned earlier. Some of them yeah. get a plus one modifier, and it gives you the rules for choosing spells. But yeah. they're all written there. We've talked about them in their various different elements. Yeah. So I don't really think we need to bound them no, out, really. They, they go up quite quite nicely, isn't it, with Wizard mm. Apprentice getting one spell, mm. Wizard Adept getting two I yeah. to get four. It's it's similar to what you had before. Yeah, the price cost just... of a master shoots up massively. Yeah. but that's because they're so much better. And now you can, as we said before, the yeah. best change. Choose your spells. Yeah, spell selection. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, no more rolling those horrible spells yeah. that you didn't want in the first place. Um, yeah, like I said, a few combinations mm-hmm. that you can't um, change together. One and four for adept, and one and six for master. Yeah, and. Initially, you're like, that's a bit weird, but then when you look at the paths... You realise that that's because yeah. 1 and 4 or 1 and 6 are actually the yeah. good spells. Yeah, um, Wizard Conclave is only slightly different in that you um, get to choose out of a certain amount of spells. You get to choose some out of your mm-hmm. list, but essentially yeah, so you've it's probably same. got a bit more options. Yeah, thing. a bit more scope. Yeah. Um, I suppose it makes it so the spell selection thing still affects a Wizard Conclave. That they get an option. That's cool. That's yeah. cool, man. I like it. 
I like it. Uh, this, then we move on to the rules that affect characters specifically. So that was things that affected, affected everyone. Mm -hmm. And th these ones just probably affect characters. Yeah. Yeah. And this introductory section is exactly the same as it used to be. It's just differentiating between lone characters, joined to units, combined units, uh, leaving a combined unit, etc. I'm literally just reading it out, charging mm -hmm. out of a unit and distributing hits, combat, uh, shooting rather. How many a unit has to have before you start yeah. hitting the characters, and um, whether you and also make way is exactly the same as it was. Mm -hmm. um, so fine, just move straight onto the special rules, which is what we're here for. Yeah, uh, and then it goes into personal protections, which is basically your saves for single models. Yeah, yeah. So Aegis, um, the old ward, the old ward save. Uh, Aegis, yeah, Aegis, <laughs> well, Aegis. Yeah, from Scotland. I guess X. <laughs> German now? I don't know what that was. No, I'm not sure. I guess X. <laughs> Please stop. Sorry. Okay. Aegis. Yeah, moving on. It's the same as it was, but Ward. Aegis. I'm definitely moving on. Uh, cannot be stomped. Unbelievably, that means you cannot be stomped. You can't, you can't be. Cannot. You cannot. You cannot be. Yeah. Proper English, please. Okay. <laughs> Distracting is the same as it always was. And I love it on my uh, bridge trolls. Yeah, very, yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Fireproof. Same, except it used to be called Fireborn. Fireborn. Mm -hmm. And you can't use regen with yeah, that's fireproof. Good. Which, I like that. Yeah, that was broken in 1.1. But uh, Flammable, same as it always was. Yep. So not worried about that. Hard target with a slight change um, in that it's cumulative. So you can get multiple instances of hard target. Yeah, and that's... Again, you mentioned that earlier. Yeah, like we were saying for skirmishes. Mm. So, because skirmishes don't give it as mm. standard, mm -hmm. but what you'll find now is that all skirmishes have the hard target special. Yeah. So, so it's just worth noting how many instances of it has because it is cumulative. Yeah. And it won't mention skirmisher in the minus one to hit in the. Does that mean aim? if you have a spell that gives hard target mm -hmm. and against something that already has, you just get it's minus two? Okay, so it keeps going up. Yeah. So if you've got two. It's instances of hard target already. You know, yep. something. So it's just an extra one. Definitely. Okay. Worth yes. casting. Cool. Whereas before, you'd already had hard target, so you couldn't use the spell on them. Uh, okay. But that's a good really change. Really good. Good change. Really good, yeah. Uh, otherworldly is um, the um, old demon saves, basically. But now it's... Um, so you get X and Y, and that's for um, normal... Normal attacks, attacks and, and magical attacks. Magical and attacks. usually the magical attacks one is a worse save. Yeah, so it might be 2-5. Yeah, 2-5, yeah. That's a good example. I think that's probably a bit more powerful than it it's probably a very will good be. One. Yeah, you get that, very good one. you take it. Or you've got it already, yeah. You take Aegis. <laughs> God, he's back at that. Uh, parry, we have got a change on parry, I think. Absolutely. Um, uh, basically, um, yeah, parry has now had an addition to it so that even high defensive skill units yeah. can benefit from it. So one of the things, obviously the change, the splitting up offensive and defensive mm -hmm. is quite big. Um, but parry before really benefited the lower weapon skill. Yeah. In this is. case, defensive skill. Um, and now, so it still does that. So mm -hmm. if you've got defensive skill it two against out. offensive skill five, you, you essentially go up to five. Mm -hmm. But make if them it's only vice versa, versa. Mm -hmm. so if you've got defensive skill two versus defense skill five then you get a plus one defense skill to make yeah to make those elite units better yeah so it could so. mean that horrible unit of goblins actually hits on fives rather than fours because yeah. you've gone up well even further defensive so skill. it gives better things a mm -hmm. reason to take power reason to take it as whereas before they wouldn't want to no yeah if you're pretty much used to be weapon skill four or maybe five you wouldn't bother with parry because there's no, no point uh, regen is exactly the same as it was and useful. Yeah, you know, only vulnerable. There's gonna be a lot of flaming. Attacks. I think uh, flaming, flaming is available, but you know, yes, but regen I think is more probably point sufficient. Yeah, probably. Mm. Um, yeah. And with with the standard four plus eggs <laughs> gone, <laughs> yeah. I think which we'll go into. Yeah, whereas regen four up is still available. Yeah. So yeah, um, armor. Um, Exactly the same as it was. You had a slight bugbear about how it's not yeah, so quite well, as well as aim. Essentially, well, what they've done is with aim, 
they've made it a lot clearer mm -hmm. and they've just said, right, you hit on a two plus and then that yeah. negative. What they've done with armor is it's worked out the same, but it, no, it's worked out differently, but it comes to the same thing. Yeah. So they've, it's the whole plus in and you have to add it together yeah, and then it goes down and up. So you see certain things that have armor four, mm -hmm. whereas actually that means on a three plus on a dice. Yeah. That's so that's my biggest gripe with how they've done armor. It's the opposite, yeah. It has nothing to do with all but this. But you think that for veterans, it is not a problem because you know how it used you, to work. If you so play you... Warhammer or Night Phage, you will get this without even thinking. Yeah. Newer players, I think, will have a bit, a more... bit of a more trouble getting their heads around yeah. it. Yeah. Once they've got their heads around it, it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. like, like us, because we've done it well. But... Yeah. Um, the big, I guess, looking in the changes is. Um, Barding. Barding doesn't reduce your march rate reduce your march. in terms of a special rule because actually yeah. most models will have got barding automatically, so it reduces their march rate in their profile. So, again, what they've done is they've they've done it in the yeah. profile. In the so profile. rather than having a profile of movement mm -hmm. eight and barding, yeah. in which case you change a you know, minus one, mm. they've just changed it. Mm. I think this simp that simplifies it. So are there still models that can choose whether or not to take barding? And if so, would their movement rate be affected if they choose to I, take it? I believe, from what I've seen, mm, I they've so, just like added it in. Like choice. elven horses, for example, used to have a choice to get bad in, mm -hmm. but now it's just you just get it, just get it, which you're probably going to take it anyway. So I think those mm. those armies that bad in didn't affect isn't affected. Will just they're just uh, moving like good down. Yeah, but say things like. Um, warriors, knights, they'll go down to movement seven rather than yeah. movement eight. Whereas Kingdom Bardin. of Ectoplan probably wouldn't go down exactly. because that's their thing. They shouldn't. Yeah. Their horses are strong enough to take barding without a movement. Yeah. Yeah. And then at the end, Assuming that's still there, we haven't really studied that. Yeah, before, so. yeah. we'll get into that when we play them, I guess. Mm. Um, and then at the end, it's just what Sam was saying. Like, so if someone has an armour of five, it means it's got two up. Yeah. Just You have five. to basically roll a dice and get to a seven to yeah. pass your armour. I, I think just, but, just say two plus... Rather than yeah, but hey, you know maybe yeah. that'll change. Yeah, aim got sorted out. Maybe aim was the prototype. Yeah, I don't think it worked well. All right, uh, weapons. Um, pretty much melee weapons are the same as they were, but there's a lot of blue because of the changes in terminology and the separation with strength and armor. Yeah, a lot of it is AP. Great weapons are the same. Hand weapons are the same. Halberds the same. Lance and light lance. So devastate. The big challenge is that it's devastating charge. Because that effectively, it used to have Devastating Charge and Thunderous Charge yeah. for strength and attacks and things like that. Mm -hmm. But down, they've just grouped that, all of those types of things yeah. into Devastating into Charge. Devastating charge. And you can get brackets. things like Devastating Charge Fear, for yeah. example. Mm -hmm. So you, it would allow a little bit more variety, yeah. again, under the one rule. It's all about what's in the brackets with Devastating Charge. So I think it streamlines it quite well. Otherwise, it's the same, yeah. um, all those weapons. Mm -hmm. Paired weapons is a different... Yeah, and they've got a bit of a buff, did not they? Because they, they can ignore parry and they gain attack, so, yeah, or, so attack as normal. Yeah, one plus one attack. The, the biggest change is that you don't now get an agility, an agility or initiative bonus. Mm -hmm. um, you do get plus one offensive skill mm -hmm. and you ignore parry. So it, it sort of, I like this a lot because it has a rock, paper, scissors against yeah, parry. Parry, parry yeah, used now. to be very, very good. Mm -hmm. Now it has, now it's interesting and mm -hmm. affects more people but can be overridden yeah by something yeah. and i think that's a fantastic if you're relying on your powering make sure you're not against someone with paired weapons. so so yeah while paired weapons lost the agility which is big i think it's got better yeah totally agree rock paper scissors is a perfect example mm -hmm. of that, i think yeah and spears probably the most popular weapon choice in terms of what got better if that yeah, makes sense i yeah, this is the biggest. Buff. Yeah, so they always had fine extra rank and armor penetration. They've lost the what I think is called lethal strike against cavalry. Yeah, I don't think gone. they used to have AP one as standard. Do they I not? think that was the difference. Oh, I think okay, they yeah. had um, perhaps AP one against against cavalry, cavalry mm -hmm. and lethal strike. Yeah, but lethal strike's gone, and now that they might even add. AP2 against Kevlar or something like that. Yeah, that's whatever. Instead, it doesn't matter what they're doing. Have, that, really. They've just gone right. AP1 is standard. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. if you get charged, 
You get plus you two get agility as well. And another AP. Another AP, yes. You so plus two agility, plus two AP, and financial rank. The, which is the, incredible. It's huge. So, and the fact, because the, the reason that's good is because if you charge, you get plus one agility. But yeah. this gives you plus two. So you're you're going more likely mm -hmm. of going before or at the same time as those charges, even with their yes. agility buff. Mm -hmm. And I, I, think, I think it's a very, very good improvement to it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not. Sh I think it makes those defensive things really hard to hit. Yeah. With everything now. Definitely. So but, I mean, if sure. you're taking a spear, you can't get parry. So it's yeah. not like obviously all these bonuses or or the the latitude, the agility, the extra agility in AP mm -hmm. is only if you get charged in the front. Yes. So if you get charged on a flank or rear, it doesn't apply. No. Um, and the fight next rank will be in, not applicable, mm -hmm. but you do get the plus one AP. Yeah. So is it? The spear is the biggest change, and probably they've made them worth taking. One of the very popular much. choices now. Yeah, definitely agreed. So on to shooting weapons, and we didn't notice a lot of changes when we tried to look through this. We're not sure whether throwing weapons went from twelve inches to eight inches in this mm -hmm. version, but change. it is blue, which indicates it's a change. Blue, so potentially it's changed, uh, but that's that might all be because of the aim thing changing. So we're not going to really go into that because we don't think Otherwise, it's changed much. Pretty similar, to yep. be fair. And artillery weapons, um, they are all just your war machines as normal, well, and I think they're pretty much the same as they were. But it has yep. to give them a bracket. Uh, bolt throwers have always got penetrating. We'll see penetrating later. Mm -hmm. Cannon gets plus one to hit against gigantic. It's the same, always hurt, but yeah. Something to remember. Maybe when you're doing soft cover and hard cover. So forest, it doesn't care. You don't care. Mm -hmm. But uh, catapult's the same as it was. Area attack is a nice little thing once you get your head around it. But we'll mm -hmm. see that later as well. Uh, I like the whole partial hit. Does it talk about them here? The catapults. Yes, labelled partial hit. Yes, so that's cool. Um, yeah. I like that you get two, two attempts with catapults. They're even better for gear launchers. I'll just say that. Yeah. Because they don't suffer any lesser damage for the second mm -hmm. roll. Very good. Yeah. Love it. Um, okay, so that's the fine. Uh, flamethrowers. Now, we never really used flamethrowers before, but we think from the amount of blue text and uh, forum updates the mm. flamethrowers got better yeah uh, they basically cause more hits which can only be a good ranks thing. and but it has capped it at a maximum of 4d t3 which but is fine. in i think in this day and age that's, that's not going to be you're not going to often cap, cap out i think the the times when you would cap out is if you get into the flank of something yeah or if and, you're not shooting a particularly big unit yeah mm. um but yeah uh very great. interesting this yeah one, the flamethrower I can't wait to use some salamanders. Mm, yeah. On elves. Even better. Okay. Uh, volley guns, same as it always was. So that's not a problem. Uh, misfire chart is, um, well, it, it's kind of the same. But, I mean, it adds in the shaken part. If you, like, if you're misfiring, there's a chance you'd be shaken. Which be means shaken, you can't yeah. shoot next turn. Uh, so, yeah, it's just a clarification. Yeah, I think it's very similar. Not many things are going to explode. Yeah, this basically the um, uh, gunpowder weapons that yeah. can explode. Um, but a lot of uh, individual war machines have their own misfire rules in terms of what they yeah. can roll or not. Um, but otherwise, yeah, pretty yeah, straight down the so line. You can either break, jam, or lose a wound. Mm. So just great. Or health points, sorry. Mm. Even better when it just takes the last wound off a nasty uh, run. Oh no, eh? <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> uh, attack attributes, so that's basically just separating out between melee shooting and uh, the weapons. The conditional application part is, um, uh, I think I've got this right, is basically um, if something has brackets after it, it means it only applies against those particular models or whatever's in the brackets. Sure, yeah. So the example it gives is multiple wounds two against large beasts and gigantic. So if you have that, you don't cause multiple wounds against anything except... Large beast so gigantic. Imp standard or infantry. Yeah, and things so like that. Conditional Cavalry application is anything in brackets, yeah. yeah. And if you're not against something that is in brackets, then you don't get the rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so accurate is exactly the same as it was. Um, area attack, we mentioned earlier with catapults, and that's the uh, same as it always was. And once you get your head around it, it's absolutely fine. But the first time you read it, you're probably coming away with a headache. 
<laughs> but yeah, it's actually definitely. really simple. Yeah. And, and we don't need to go through it. Because, and it's, and yeah. it's, this is, they, they got brought in in the first place to stop the round templates and the template yeah. weapons. Yeah. And scatter was horrible. And not yeah. being able to aim at a unit in combat and sometimes scattering onto a unit in combat. Again, it was horrible. Just makes it simple. Yeah. And yeah, they've just reduced the hitting power of war machines um, to allow for misses. Yep. And it doesn't get messy. Essentially, these things that use those are going to be better against the infantry. Yeah. And the nice. smaller they are, because it's a bigger thing, the, mm. the more it'll hit. Yeah, it is. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, Battle Focus has been talked about earlier in terms of how it's the new plus one attack for Frenzy. Yeah. Except so, it isn't plus one to ha attack anymore. No, interesting. It, so, instead of, yeah, as you said, instead of getting plus one attack standard for Frenzy, and you can potentially lose that frenzy. Mm -hmm. What because you now can't lose frenzy, you will always have battle focus. Mm -hmm. And on the, every natural to hit roll of six, you get two attacks, which is great. One. If it pays off, it's great. Yeah, it gives you a lot of potential for it. Mm -hmm. The maths set or the math, the maths. We're English maths. Ma the maths English, mm -hmm. please. Um, says that you, it works out the same pretty mm -hmm. much. Um, mm -hmm. Additional. Um, Models in like further ranks get mm. benefit better from it. Yeah, so if you're a supporting model, it, not that you're rolling them separate to your front rank, but yeah. if your supporting model rolls a six, then he's going to get the extra attack. Whereas with mm -hmm. Frenzy, the old Frenzy, he wouldn't have got it. So but previously, your front rank were always getting the extra attack. So yeah. it has been reduced in efficiency in or in uh, damage output, mm. but it's still there. Yeah, so, and I think I think gaming wise. It, it's another thing to remember. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. to start off with, is going to be like, especially quicker players yeah. are going to have to stop and look at their hit to hit roll. Yeah. Yeah. And think about it. But if you've already lost an attack, I think with those, if you're using those units, you're going to be wanting to yeah, you're <laughs> look at those use sixes. It, yeah. That's something you remember. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It's all good. Um, crush attacks the same as it was. Devastating charge, we've already talked about how it can be cumulative. And yeah, yeah it's all about it what's in the brackets. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, divine attacks is exactly the same as it was, and um, always useful. Yes. Fighting <laughs> extra ranks is the same as it was, and uh, because spears are better, you probably can see it a bit more. Yeah. Uh, flaming attacks is the same, uh, how it interacts with other rules. Flammable and regeneration specifically. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, now, harnessed is uh, basically what a model that is ridden by something has. So if you're a uh, cavalry model, then the animal or beast or whatever it is you're riding has harnessed just to indicate that it's got someone riding it. But it doesn't really do anything. It just excludes you from certain effects. Yeah. So other rules say affects the model except parts with yeah. harnessed. Mod yeah, model parts so, with harnessed are not affected. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Ilk. And so ignoring the hatred, which is exactly the same as it was, Inanimate is exactly the same in that that's another model part rule, mm -hmm. um, which is exactly the same as I've described for harnessed. Yeah. It, some rules will exclude the inanimate part of the model, mm -hmm. which is it's really good clarification. It's kind of, they're both rules that are on chariots and it really makes it clear. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. So, like, Again, some more streamlining, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, lethal strike is the same as it was, yeah. uh, we think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. The only thing that we don't know don't changed with lethal strike is that we did. It, remember, it takes away regeneration. Yeah, well. we think that happened in one point three without us yeah. noticing. So, we're but not. it's it's good enough to mention. Yeah, I like that it takes away regen yeah. as well. You know, it means that lethal strike is still good, which is another reason why regeneration is so is a, is a bit cheaper. Yeah, I think nowadays. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, lethal strike can take it away, it's even more that like flaming and region, mm -hmm. um, and lethal strike can take it away. Yeah, but in reflexes is the same for the elves. Is yes. uh, magical attacks um, ever so slightly different because not all yeah, special will, equipment gives magical attacks. No. It will specifically state whether it has magical attacks or not. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll come um, across that when we talk about and special if equipment. a model if a model has magic attacks, it applies to its special attacks. Um, if but obviously, if the equipment has magical attacks, it means the model special attacks yeah. don't have. Yeah. Well, blah, blah, blah. yeah. Cool. That's all good. It does make sense. Yeah. Move or fire is the same as it was. Multiple wounds is the same as it was. 
Uh, penetrating is the same as it was, so that's your bolt thrower things. Yep. Uh, just going through units or whatever that you attack, mm -hmm. it's fine. Poison attacks um, is the same, except they've added in the hopeless shot part, which means that if you're hitting on sevens, you can still get the effect of poison by rolling a six on your first dice. Yeah. Uh, that's probably as, as well as we need yeah, to explain so slight, it, really. I guess you could say a slight improvement. Yeah, it's a massive improvement, I think. Do you um, think? Yeah, totally. Because previously, models that were shooting with poison, if they did all sorts of negative to hit modifiers, they would lose the effect of poison, which was pretty much the whole point of their shooting weapon. Okay, and a lot of poison attacks shooting doesn't have high ultimate skill slash aim. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, it's making it, that even It gives better. them a chance of still using the poison yeah. that they probably paid a lot for. Yeah, sure. So, cool. Yeah. Uh, quick to fire is, mm, well, well it, I mean, it is the same, apart, well, I guess it's not, yeah, it's, so if you have quick to fire, you don't, you can move and shoot without penalty. Which is the same. So you don't, however, ignore. Stop a unit. Uh, yeah, you can't stand and shoot yeah, if they're regardless. right in your face. So you still have to be more than their advance rate away. Yeah. So that's going to be, a, that's quite a big change to um, quick to fire, I think. Quick to fire units aren't um, quite as hard to charge if you get up close. So if you're thinking yeah. about charging a unit that has quick to fire, you don't now have to move into their face before you charge them. Yeah. Well, you, well, you, you will have to that. now. Yeah. yeah. Before, it didn't matter where you are. Yeah. So actually, it might make them, because you, ha you could stand and shoot mm -hmm. anywhere, mm -hmm. it might make them less chargeable now. Because you're going to have to get them right up close. Whereas before, it didn't matter if you got up close. You were still getting the sun, you were still shoot, anyway. getting the sun and shoot. So you would have charged from further away regardless. Mm -hmm. Now you've got you, it, more beneficial. Yes, because you, you want to get within your advance rate and so then the, charge them so they can't stand and shoot. So in a way, does that make mm, them That's a kind better? of weird flipping, yeah. I like the way you flip that round. Yeah. Nice. I've, I've, I've right. bamboozled myself. I'm totally confused. Move yeah. on. Uh, reload is the same as it was, and that's on the war machines. Uh, toxic attacks is the same as it was, and toxic awesome. Toxic attacks is good, man. Yeah, I mean, not for elves, <laughs> but it's good. Yeah, thing. it's a good rule. I like the rule. Or for those poor knights of Equitains. Oh baby! Oh, if you if you if you want knights of Equitain and you come up against anything toxic, mm -hmm. you immediately sink into the ground and, and cry and cry and cry and cry before you die. Cry before you die. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's a band. Mm, no, is it? Is. Well, it should be. Oh, it can be. It's oh. our band. All right, then. A, a ukulele in a triangle. <laughs> I'm on the triangle. <laughs> <I'm down. laughs> uh, unwield is the same as it was. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, volley fire, go for it. New volley, you know, volley fire. fire, volley fire. Right, so yeah, that's, um, this is one of the biggest changes. So mm -hmm. before, you, had, you could shoot in all your extra ranks. Mm -hmm. That is now not the case. You can only um, shoot, shoot in the first two ranks, ranks yeah. unless specifically say it otherwise, yeah, like Sea Guard, Guard or example. Mm -hmm. um, also, it means you don't simply ignore um, intervening, uh, models. intervening models for shooting. You do kind of, as long as one of your models can freely see the, um, target, the, unit. the target unit, you, the unit can volley the fire. rest of them can volley fire. So if your mate next to you it. can see the target, you say, well, where is he, mate? And yeah. he says, he's over there. And you yeah. go, all right, I'll shoot. <laughs> Bang. Exactly. Yeah. So this is basically, so with the whole line of sight, and you can't see something mm -hmm. if it's depending on what size it is and whether it's tall, etc. Mm -hmm. um, this gives a slight help if you're, so you're probably going to be, say, instead, instead of going um, five wide and three, four deep, yeah, you're going to be ten wide and two. Deep. Give you a good chance of having line of yeah. sight with one yeah. model. Um, so it's something to remember because it is something, especially with the new line of sight stuff that gets overlooked a little mm -hmm. bit. But yeah, it's if if one of you can see it without any obstruction, and then the whole unit can benefit can from volley fire. See it. But it is a nerf overall to volley fire. It is. Um, I, it's a it's a nerf and a shift. Mm -hmm. It was more of a shift and a slight nerf. I think. Yeah. Um, but mainly because of the shooting extra ranks. So what you're going to see now is a lot of two ranked shooting units. Yeah, because um, there's no point in going deeper anymore. So well. probably a lot smaller. So, for example, a unit 30 arches mm -hmm. is going to be not very often seen. 
So you can no, unless they're the going to shoot, he's right probably going to be yeah. capped out at twenties. Yeah, around that sort of market. Unless you would um, really purposefully want to go really wide, but you don't see that very often. Yeah, gone are the days of the forty two uh, tomb king archers. Oh, with Kalida. Yeah, no, it was. It was yeah, Kalida, Kalida, yeah, Kalida, Queen Kalida. Yeah. Always with attacks. Mm-hmm. Or oh, poison shooting, hit and That was a unit. That was on yeah. a unit. Awesome. Uh, Weapon Master is the same as it was. Um, nothing special with that. And uh, special attacks. Well, we're going to go through them one by one, but they're basically the all the weird attacks that some models have. Mm. Uh, so and these are often additional to your combat attacks. Usually additional, well. yeah. And, or shooting. Yeah. Yeah, um, breath attack is the same as it was, we think. Yeah, so it can be used in shooting and melee. And you can stun and shoot. I think that's what's changed, isn't it? Yeah. You I can use so. it as stun and shoot. But um, that's pretty cool. It and can be used when you've marched. Yes. The only issue with a breath weapon is a breath attack is it is 2d6 hits. So you could get to you could get 12. Yeah. But that is quite a variation. So it's not reliable, but it's a nice. No. If you treat it as a nice bonus, yeah, then I think you've you, if you, you can't hit, hit go the wrong. nail on the head there. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Yeah, uh, grind attacks. We don't see a lot of these. Because that's because the armies we play, but we mm. think it's the same as it was. Um, yeah, very much so. Except you can't use it with impact hits. But I think that was all this the same. You choose grind yeah. attack or impact hits, but I'm fairly sure that's the same as it was. So. No and and I think some things, like for example, the Doom Wheel or, mm-hmm. or Dread Wheel, whatever it's called, Dreadmill, yeah. Dreadmill, won't now have impact hits and grind attacks. Because there's no point. Yeah, because because, because I've done that anyway. I think you'll probably just have grind. If if something had both, you might just have grind attacks now. Yeah, but it won't be universal. But that's probably mm-hmm. the case. Yeah. Impact hits are the same, except I don't know when this was added in, but they've added an X value because different models have impact hits. Yeah. Rather than having a classification for the model type, you now have impact hits X. And it might be D6, might be D6 plus 1, or D3, or 1, one. or etc. So just yeah. something to note. Just follow what's in the rackets, as always. Yeah. Uh, stomp attacks is the same. I mean, there's no thunder stomp that's long gone. That's mm. eighth edition. But so yeah, again, it's a streamlining of special rules. So yeah. you, you don't have stomp and stomp and thunder stomp and all no. that stuff. Mm-hmm. It's stomp X. Yeah, and so. only models that have harnessed can use stomp attacks. Yep. There you go. Mm. And then sweeping attacks. Yeah, sweeping attacks same as it was, and <laughs> really surprising when they come up, when they happen because you've probably forgotten. That you're vulnerable to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I think that's all of the um, rules. So we're on to special equipment, and we're going to stop before we go on to those. Yeah. But I think that's yeah, pretty good. I think we said we were going to be ruthless with our special rules, and I think we've been ruthless. Pretty good. Yeah, that should be a rule, actually, shouldn't it? Ruthless. Oh, yes. We should definitely suggest a rule called ruthless. And just, it would be to negate all rules. All rules. <laughs> just. And the, the no uh, explanation uh, of what it does. Yeah. It's all rules negated. Absolutely. That'd be ruleless, <laughs> wouldn't it? Really? Ruthless. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, cool. We'll end there. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, yeah, that's another video down. So mm-hmm. carry on in the rule book uh, next time. Thank yes. you very much for listening, watching, and uh, we'll talk to you again in a bit. See you later.